<laughs> Marlo. Tony. <laughs> Pleasure to see you, brother. Looking good. Holy shit, is that a new cape? You mind if I see it? Walk <laughs> away. What is it you want from me, Mr. Uh, Marlowe? I was, uh, holy shit. Uh, I was wondering if I could borrow a rake. <laughs> I can't find mine. I went in my garage, looked around. I got plenty of sleds. It hasn't snowed in three years, but I don't know where a rake is. I got leaves everywhere. It's a fire hazard. You got a rake? Accustom your eyes to the darkness. <laughs> I tried that. I literally looked around the garage for 45 minutes. <laughs> I had a single light in the fucking thing. I left my phone in my house. I'm supposed to have a to-go bag with a flashlight, but Martha says don't touch that because we need it for later, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's good. My nephew tells me you wanted to meet me in person. Yeah, it felt weird to text about a rake. <laughs> it would be easier to, you know, ask you face to face, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're my neighbor? <laughs> I am the state secretary of Her Majesty's Privy Council. Oh, no shit. <laughs> That's so funny. I know we're always voting on those things, but I'm like, who is that? What do they do? I don't care. <laughs> Have you any idea what that entails? No. No, again, I don't know. What are you, a treasurer? <laughs> Take care of the finances? What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing around here? In my line of work, the light of day is a pleasure one has had to forego. Oh, you got a night shift. <laughs> yeah, I used to do those. I was a security guard, actually, down. You're not going to fucking believe this. <laughs> down on Columbus Circle, there's a building. Doesn't look like much, and when you get inside, it's worse. <laughs> I was a security guard there for, for a long time. They live by a different set of rules. Seriously, going there. It's, it's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I worked at night to uh, the midnight to 6 a.m. shift. I did 16 hours in an elevator once. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Christopher Marlowe. Well, I mean, well, like, uh, I don't know, 6'3 um, Virgo? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy from, from Yonkers. I'm just, you know. Are you honest? Yeah, I think I'm pretty honest. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm honestly not good at lying, so <laughs> it's not my, you know, I, maybe it'd be cool to be like, you know, sneaky or whatever, but I, I don't have it in me. So. Belief, Mr. Marlowe, is the defining principle of our time. It is by belief that a man is judge. What exactly do you believe? What do I believe? Oh, boy. <laughs> um... You know, I think we should be, uh, I think we should be good to dogs. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know what I, thank you for asking, I've been meaning to talk about this with anybody who will listen. We need more trains. <laughs> That's what I believe. I think we need more fucking trains everywhere. Everybody's talking about these electric vehicles. They're heavier than regular cars. We got more rubber in the water. We're not going to be fucking fish in 50 years. We'll be on a fucking train. How hard is that? You believe yourself to be that man. <laughs> you think I could be the train guy? <laughs> By the way, I was just talking to a friend about this. Do you think the engineer or is it the conductor who's shoveling the, not anymore, but they're shoveling the coal and the thing? What job is that? What do you call that? Greatness, Mr. Marlowe. Greatness. <laughs> Greatness. That was a real job. It's not won, but earned. That's right. That's For all right. your words, I doubt you could pay the price that path exacts. Your skin is too thin. It would bruise easily. Your mouth, I fear, is wider than your will. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I started taking some carotenoid pills, if you can believe it. Um, it's the stuff that makes carrots orange and, the, and the, the shrimp pink and stuff like that. It's a safer way to get it tan, because I'm always so, you know, fucking translucent. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark in here. Uh, but, uh, lowers your blood pressure, so, uh, I didn't look up the side effects, but, uh, I'm feeling them. <laughs> Have you any idea of the nature of my business? Uh, again, no. <laughs> I'm gathering you some sort of, yeah, comp troller. I pluck the weeds of heresy wherever they may grow. So, like, landscape. <laughs> That's honest work, brother. Good for you. So you got a rake. <laughs> oh man! I'm to the right.
right fucking name. <laughs> I curb the veins of Catholic Rome, which threatens to destroy us. Good for you. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> what the fuck is Rome doing with us, right? Good for you, sticking up for us little guys, little townies like us. Yeah. <laughs> is this an everyday cake? Or... <laughs> Have you ever murdered a man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you ever done it? Would you, if I ordered it? If you, like, if, if you, if you ordered it? If you want to, like, you want to, like, do a hit on the guy? I just said yes because I wanted to see what you were going to say. <laughs> no, I have not murdered a man. <laughs> Uh, but if you really, I mean, what's going on? Are you okay? Is there something, is somebody bothering you? I feel like there are probably some steps before get my neighbor to murder somebody. I'm happy to help any way I can. And what are you to Raleigh? Raleigh is my nephew. <laughs> well, I mean, he's like a nephew. Yeah, he's on the Little League team that I coach. Yeah. And you are not afraid of consequences. I'm not good at baseball either. <laughs> they let anybody do that. Afraid of consequences? No, what are you gonna do? I'm, I'm, I'm 6'4", what are you talking about? <laughs> consequences to me? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm always fine. Murder is sin and the wage of sin is death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, murder is, murder is, you know, like not a great thing. And uh, the wager of sin is death. I guess it depends on the state. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm more, I'm more in favor, honestly, uh, for uh, you know rehabilitation facilities, because there's a really big question as to how much free will we really do have, right? There's a lot of like the circumstances that we're born into, what caused us to do these things, and are punitive measures really the answer to helping us out? I don't think so, brother. Right? So I think we got to help each other. You know, get treatment centers going, get more trains, right? You amuse me. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> you amuse me. And you waste my time. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, usually, usually Republicans are on board with trains. <laughs> that's kind of where our circles, you know, overlap. All right. Well, uh, I'm sorry to bug you. Um, if you don't got a rake, don't sweat it. I'll pick it up by hand. Um, you know, that just leaves. Just, you know, for what it's worth, you're not supposed to pick up all the leaves. That's habitat for the underbrush, for little bugs and moths. It's good for the... Bees are doing better than we think, by the way, but the other pollinators, they need some help, okay? So, you know, maybe it's good I don't get a, I don't get a rake today. Yeah? A pretty speech. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was a, uh, a communications major. <laughs> Do you know the difference between a truth and a lie. You know the difference between a frog and a toad? <laughs> yeah, well, that I like. There we go. There we go, brother. All right. So you're an animal guy, you know what I mean? That's kind of fun. You know, the only difference between turtles and tortoises is that turtles are uh, amphibian, tortoises are uh, landlocked. Yeah, I lost you. It will profit you the world, but it comes with a price. All right, hit me, brother. What, what's it going to cost me? You must be void of all affections. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Such as love, <laughs> compassion, hope, or fearless. You will be moved at nothing, neither shall you pity aught, but give yourself back to me, which I deem fit. That's, that's how I feel when I'm on beta blockers. <laughs> Stuff really doesn't bother me when I take those. You will be cast in darkness, just as I have been, and nothing shall be sacred but my word. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I will form you in my image, and you shall do my work as such a pitch as to make Machiavelli seem like the good shepherd. Honestly, we're not dressed too different. <laughs> we got a lot of, like, slate gray tones. I'm gonna, you know, form me in your image. That's fine. Once mine, you cannot walk away. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Listen, I'm happy to hang out. I'm happy to do your favor, whatever you need, but, you know, I gotta be able to... I'm a walker. I'm a pacer, you know what I mean? There is no failure here. There is either success or death. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to that. You know what I mean? You gotta have, you know, no plan B, as Will Smith says. You know what I mean? You gotta do it. Over here, good. What are you, are you worried about like a smart TV listening to us? What are you? 
Experience the like of which no play of yours could ever hold. Knowledge of the unvarnished truth of human nature, the undying gratitude of queen and country, and riches far in excess of your wildest imaginations. Was that a poem? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Can I see this? Sweet, sweet daddy and the big old girls. Yeah. Mom hasn't been the same since she came home from war. Okay, this is good. What You'll is swear an oath of loyalty and pledge to me your life. And what am I getting in return? Is it one rake? <laughs> <laughs>